introducing the integration of Virtual Sim Radio VSR with Say Intentions AI. Say Intentions.ai is a different paradigm from VATSIM. VSR was originally designed to show which controllers are online, whilst in Say Intentions, all controllers are online, all of the time. You need to save your Say Intentions.ai API key in the settings panel. Under the Tools Edit Config menu item, you can find this key in the Say Intentions.ai pilot portal. And you need an active flight in both the Say Intentions.ai app and in Microsoft Flight Simulator. VSR will load VATSIM by default. Just go to the Tools menu and switch to Say Intentions.ai. This may take a moment to load the stations. Initially, those nearby and those on your SimBrief plan, if you have one, will also be loaded. Additional nearby stations will be loaded as you fly on your route. VSR is a great information tool, focusing less on the airspace. Of course, you can still tune ahead for airports and track on, approach departures, radar, etc. If you look at the airport information, you will see the source is shown as Say Intentions, and the information for the airports on your plan will automatically be updated. If we expand each airport, we can see every station has a controller, which is one of the major differences you will see from VATSIM. The other aircraft shown on the map are other Say Intentions pilots, not AI-injected traffic. You can hear them by tuning on multiplayer proximity broadcasts in the Say Intentions app. One thing of note, VSR with Say Intentions does not currently load on root or center controllers. You have to remember that they are all online all of the time, but you will always get their frequencies to click on from a handoff. Remember, we also have full airport and track on information from the map. Given the potential for a huge amount of information on the display, it is always important to filter the tables when needed. You can filter by distance, station call sign, station name, and limit the tables to those on your flight plan. Another important feature is being able to assign a default radio, for when you click on a frequency, Filtering incoming messages is hugely important. The choices are considerable, but you need to ensure AI messages are on to get the radio transcript. If you plan to fly hybrid flights on Say Intentions and VATSIM, then leave on VATSIM messages. If you use them, then ACARS and possibly CPDLC messages need to be switched on. Radio and server messages are also important. We can now start using VSR in the cockpit. It is good RT practice to start with a radio check. This will also ensure that VSR is receiving the messages from the system. South End Tower, Golf November, Golf, radio check. Golf November, Golf Bravo, India, South End Tower, Roger, readability 5. Dave was showing a little bit of student pilot nervousness there. VSR utilizes Say Intentions ACARS network. We can submit a pre-departure clearance request. Note that VSR pre-fills your current departure airport as the receiving station. Echo Golf Mike Charlie for South End. We get confirmation that it's been sent, and in a few minutes we get back a response. The messages will appear in our message section with the obligatory ding-dong. We can click on different items to change the transponder or radio accordingly. We acknowledge the PDC with a Wilco response. Again, we can see this has been received by the network. Now we can get pushback and taxi clearance. You can see all the messages appear in the message area. South End, Golf November, Golf Bravo India requesting push and start. Golf Bravo India, push back and start approved, facing west. Golf Bravo India, taxi to runway 23 via Charlie Alpha. Tune to South End departures on COM1 standby. Golf Bravo India, runway 23, winds 200 at 15, cleared for takeoff. Let's go fly. Bravo India, contact departure on 130 decimal 78. We have lots of options. We can click the message and frequency. 
Flip COM 1 to stand by or click on the table entry. Golf, uh, Golf November Golf Bravo India with you. Golf November Golf Bravo India, south end approach identified. Clear direct DVR, climb flight level 0, 09 or 0. Golf Bravo India, contact London Control on 121 decimal 23. Remember, we cannot tune ahead for en route center controllers, so we will click on the frequency in the message. Sten's airport information is available at the click of the button. As we progress, we are passed to Brussels control. We can see from the map we are closing in on Ostend's airspace. So we can tune ahead to their controller on 120.6. Golf Bravo India, contact Ostend, approach on 120 decimal 6. Golf Bravo India, descend 5000. Turn right, heading 095 vectors for the ILS runway 26 approach. It gets busy from now on, I'll shut up and let Dave Golf fly. Golf Bravo India, contact Ustendi Tower on 118.18. Golf November, Golf Bravo India, Ustendi Tower, winds 190 at 1, 4, runway 26, clear to land. Golf Bravo India, welcome to Ustendi, contact ground on 121.98. So there we have it, VSR with say intentions. A great combination that brings real-time information into your cockpit, whether you fly in virtual reality or not. After that landing, I need to change my Unterpanzies.